Okay, what we're doing in the gardens today, um, we've had a very generous donation from Crybosh Nursery and George and Keith Kirsten. Keith came here last year to help us to identify some of the trees. We've got a lot of very unusual trees in the garden we couldn't identify them. So when he was here, he had a look around and he said there's a lot of empty bare spaces in the garden and he would like to donate some indigenous plants that would bring some colour at different times of the year. So that's what we're doing. The donation arrived and today is a planting day. We're busy putting all that, all those plants into place. Okay, Very exciting. <laughs> the project started um, or restarted, isn't it, after COVID? After um, COVID, yeah. We started in um, May 2019 originally and the gardens were completely, you couldn't actually get into them or see them properly. So we worked until COVID, then we had to stop, and then after COVID we started again. And we were very fortunate, the municipality has been very good in supporting us. They let us have a big skip every now and then, because we have removed tons and tons and tons of, of, of overgrowth from the garden, stuff that was just covering everything up. And as we've removed, all the, lo all the plants have started to blossom and come up again, and we've found the trees. So what we've done is we've opened up the walking trails in the garden so people can come and walk through and enjoy them again. They, the gardens were established in the 1940s and they were very much part of the, um, the Khrupra community. We have lovely photos of people that got married and had their wedding photos here and people would have picnics and everything. It was just a very special garden. Even when Keith Kirsten was here, he was speaking to someone on the phone and he said it's a it's a very special spot it's a, he calls it the heritage garden and it is a heritage for our town and we'd like to we'd like to we'll never be able to restore it to what it was but we can make it usable for the community again and a place of beauty that's what we're aiming for <laughs>